Marek, hello, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good, so tell me a little bit about your birthday. You had a birthday yesterday, you turned 22, and what fabulous thing did you do to celebrate your birthday? Uh, just nothing exciting, you know. Uh, just had uh, lunch and dinner, and just spent time with uh, my girlfriend's family, and I just called with my parents and grandparents, and just basically birthday. So you are in Missouri with your girlfriend, and what kind of facilities do you have out there so that you can maybe take a few shots or lift a few weights or uh, eat? I don't have any gym. All the good gyms are closed. Just uh, go to the neighbor basket and shoot some baskets there and just live with my, uh, just live with my weights and you know, eat a lot. Yeah, you keep saying you're, you've eaten a lot, and tell me some of the fabulous things you've eaten down there. Uh, I love like pasta, Mexican, Chinese. And just food like that. What do we don't have a lot in Syracuse? You know, you said earlier when I was speaking with you that you're, you're coping pretty well, that you're kind of like the little break from basketball. And why is that? Why, why are you doing so well emotionally and just uh, physically, I guess? I wouldn't say, like, I'm doing great. Uh, I still miss a lot of basketball. You know, I, I miss, like, uh, open gyms, you know, go shoot whenever I can, go lift. I'm just like, you know, I never had this much break in my whole entire life, you know. And now I trying to find new ways, like how to live my life, you know, and uh, just enjoy this free time with uh, my closest one and just have fun a little bit. Yeah, you mentioned that you were kind of lucky that you had your girlfriend in the United States that you could stay with. But do you have you heard from other international students who are having problems trying to figure out where they're going to stay and what they're going to do? I had I heard one uh, girl. Uh, she's at Ohio State, and she gets out here. And she somehow found a family who is from Slovakia in Colorado, and she traveled there. But, you know, this is a hard time for everybody, it's not in, even for international, it's, it's for everybody. And just, you know, you need to do best what you can do and just stay safe. Your parents are doing well? My parents are doing great, you know. <laughs> They're always doing great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your parents are very uh, happy people. I love that about them. They're they're the happiest person, people I ever know, you know. They they really don't care about this. They're just living their life best they can and uh they enjoy this time with them and going to their garden and just do nothing. Um it's very likely Elijah Hughes is going to leave next year. So that will mean that your role will probably expand a little bit. Do you have any indication of what that role might be and how you might fill it for the upcoming season? You know, I'm going to be the probably the oldest one on the team. And uh, there's be, going to be a lot of responsibility for me to help the team, to manage the team, be the good leader. How was Elijah last year? We still know he's coming back or not. But... Whatever happens, I'm trying to. I'm the fourth year here and uh, trying to be best and help the team, help the coaches, and be best team we can be. Is there anything that you think will expand in terms of your role, in terms of what they're asking of you next year? Uh, probably be better leader. You know, take more shots, uh, take more responsibility for me. You know, on the three three years I was more like, I score is okay, but. Uh, but now, you know, I probably have to score more and uh, uh, we will see what's going to be. Well, I, I'm kind of missing the picture of your dog, Hank. Tell me a little about Hank and your, the puppy that you got. Uh, we got him like two months ago and he's golden retriever, 16 weeks. And he's great, you know, and uh, it's a great time for me. You know, don't have nothing better to do. I just play with him the whole day and he's, he's the star in this family. <laughs> um, when do you anticipate you might come back to campus? I still don't know. You know, it's hard to plan everything. Um, I was really planning to go maybe end of April and uh, go work out to Mellow. I don't know if it's going to be open or what is going to be open. It's, it's hard time for, you know, hard, to, hard times to plan anything. And we will really see what's going to be like. Uh, so you've been holed up there in Missouri and you've been watching some TV, I presume. Do you have any recommendations for fans out there? Um, if you want to watch, it's, uh, the best show on Netflix is The Money Heist. The Money Heist. Money Heist. They came on a new season like a month ago or like two, two weeks ago and it was really good. All right. Well, good, good to see you. Good to speak with you. And uh, I, I, I feel bad that everybody else was deprived of the picture of your beautiful puppy. So. <laughs> I can't. <laughs>
you bring him. Hank, come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, we're going to get to see him. Nice. Maybe. All right, this is him. Oh, my goodness. There he is. Hello, Hank. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Very cute. All right. Well, you're lucky to have a puppy to keep you occupied. All right. Yeah. I won't take up any more of your time, Eric. Thanks so much. Uh, stay safe there, and I uh, appreciate you talking with me. Thank you for having me. Have a All good right. day. Bye. You too. Bye.